Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of passive hepatic congestion or also known as congested liver. A 17 years old unmarried female patient came with chest pain and respiratory distress. She was a diagnosed case of right heart failure due to congenital heart disease. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the liver and you can see the heart is pumping very slowly that is a cross bradycardia. And you can see the hepatic veins as well as inferior vena cava are dilated. There is no change of the venous wall caliper with patient's respiration, which indicates the increase in right atrial pressure. Here is the picture of these dilated hepatic veins. This is the left hepatic vein, this is the middle hepatic vein. Middle and right hepatic veins are forming the common hepatic vein and draining into the inferior vena cava. This is the right hepatic vein draining to the inferior vena cava separately. It's forming the playboy bunny sign here. Here's the picture of the dilated left hepatic vein, middle hepatic vein and the right hepatic vein. The middle hepatic vein diameter is around 20 mm. The right one is around 21 and the left one is around 19 mm. So overall the diameters are quite same but these are dilated. Here you can see the right heart and you can see it's moving very slowly due to increased right atrial pressure with right heart failure. Here I am showing you the lower abdomen and you can see the urinary bladder. Adjacent to the bladder, you can see some collection on the left image and here on the right one, you can see the uterus with collection at the cul-de-sac. Here is the picture showing the right abdomen and you can see some peritoneal collection. Now let's look at the Doppler findings. Here you can see the spectral flow from the middle hepatic vein and you can see there is a loss of regular normal triphasic flow pattern of the hepatic vein. The spectral signal is looking like M-shaped. Here's the picture and you can see the loss of regular triphasic wave pattern of the middle hepatic vein. It's forming some irregular waves as the pulsation was irregularly irregular with some M-shaped wave pattern which is commonly seen in congestive cardiac failure. Here is the flow pattern of the distal inferior vena cava and you can also see the loss of regular triphasic W-shaped wave pattern due to increased right atrial pressure. Here is the portal vein and you can see the increased pulsatility of the portal venous Doppler flow which also indicates the abnormality at the right heart. Here is another picture and you can see the abnormal wave pattern of the portal vein. Here is the spectrum from the proximal part of the abdominal aorta. There are some irregular beats due to congestive cardiac failure. So in summary, we have seen the dilated hepatic veins as well as the inferior vena cava. There is peritoneal collection or ascites. With the spectral Doppler, you have seen the loss of normal triphasic flow pattern in inferior vena cava and hepatic veins with to and fro flow and M-shaped spectrum. There is increased pulsatility of the portal venous flow. So these features conclude it as a case of passive hepatic congestion due to right heart failure. Now the take home message. In case of abnormal spectrum in portal vein and dilated hepatic vein, check the right heart to see the enlargement and other structural and functional abnormalities. Passive hepatic congestion is a well studied result of acute or chronic right sided heart failure. In this type of case, you may also find hepatomegaly as well as the feature of cirrhosis. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.